Hi there everyone, it's me Hasif. Welcome to Hasif Zone. Uh, today I'm going to give you my review on Mob Psycho 100 episode 11 which is the last, the second last episode for this season and I hope, uh, I wish to see uh, another season of it because this is a very good series. Okay, if you guys haven't seen the episode uh, so far, I suggest you not to watch this video any further because I'm going uh, to spoil it, okay? Even though not all the way through the episode, but I'm going to talk about the best part of this episode, which is Regan Arataka. Okay, this episode uh, entitled The Leader, okay? it In the previous episode, it gives us the hint that Regan Arataka might, might be might be the leader of claw right but that's just somewhat like misleading it but it it insinuates something like that it it makes the audience thinking oh is he the secret boss because uh looking at his personality is like chilled uh, he's like someone who uh who can blend in the crowds in the public uh but behind closed doors he he can actually handle a, an organized crime uh, who wants to take the world over, right? Yeah, but then in this episode, we see that that's not the case. It's it's uh, the same case every time that involves Reagan. We see over and over again uh, lots of comments that uh, regarding the previous episodes uh, saying that Regan Arataka is the master of bullshitting, right? He 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 seems like uh, he can get away in any kinds of situation, in any kinds of trouble by just sheer bullshitting. <laughs> That's the best uh, thing about his personality. But uh, in this episode, there's an explanation ab uh, about why why he managed to do that he even somewhat like scamming people with his business but then then again uh in this episode uh on on his own explanation when he fought the the seventh division leader of claw which is that tiny gas mask i don't know kid, a dude, uh, a woman, a, a girl, I, I don't know, uh, uh, he said that uh, something on the lines of all this time around, he managed to uh, to persuade people or to ban people to uh, according to his own will uh, using his persuasion, persuasion technique uh, and it, on, it usually works with adults. And apparently, it doesn't work with, uh, it doesn't work with people, uh, adults who has, who has not grown up, or who's not mature enough. According to him, that uh, the claws, the organization, is not mature enough. You no, know, it's because they don't want, they, you like. They don't want to see the reality and ex, uh, and listen to others. They just want to take everything. Uh, they want like a child without giving a fuck about oh, what others are thinking. Something like that. Okay. Uh, and then there's a, there's a thing between Mo and, uh, and Reagan. Uh, we all know that Regan and Mo, uh, a relationship is like between master and student. Uh, in this episode, we saw the flashback the first time that Mo reaches, uh, Mo reach Regan. I mean, uh, he went to to Regan's office, uh, because he wanted to talk to him about his psychic ability. Uh, at first, uh, Regan doesn't uh, doesn't believe that but he didn't like just uh, just push him away 
uh, he give a, a little bit of advice and then uh, Mop seems like like to listen what Regan uh, had said and he wants he wants to come over and wants to be his pupil right but then again uh, according to Regan he doesn't want that and then when he spills his mocha mocha yeah, his ocha yeah green tea hot green tea and that and then uh, that's when the game change for Regan and his business and because mock shows his power that he 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 he's the real deal he's not he's not like making anything up he just said that he straight up said that he can he has the psychic ability right and then and that's a time when Regan wants to use him but uh seems like it's a win-win situation uh Regan can teach more how to use his power properly and then he can make money for both of them but even though Regan only gives Mop 300 yen as long as it uh, both party agrees with the terms and condition I think everything is okay but but it's 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 a naivety of a kid who doesn't know anything right he only wants uh, to be to be someone to be with someone who can understand understand him and his power right the explanation uh, given by Regan about psychic ability is is for me is very brilliant he said that our oh, psychic ability is just like uh, is just a, a trait a characteristic trait of a person same goes same same like for a person uh, who can run fast, uh, who is handsome or something like that, right? Because for Mop, he doesn't have anything. He's like, he doesn't have any sort of confidence. He's not, uh, he's not good in academics. He doesn't have that uh, physical, he, he's weak in, uh, in, for his body is really weak physically. Uh, but he has the strongest psychic ability among among of among everyone that we've seen so far right and then it's a struggle between between himself you know, because according to Reagan all this time around he thought he thought mock that he 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 not he's not supposed to use his psychic ability on people because the consequences after it right what if he killed people yes he might win the fight but what makes him after that that's why Regan said no you are the better person do not use your power uh, against other people but to exercise goals and make money yes that's perfectly fine but in this episode we see the the they're fighting against the the class top members right the class the what do they call it the scar yes the scar uh there's uh, a guy who captures spirits uh there's uh the ishi ishiburo seven division leader yeah, uh, with gas mask, he, he uses gravity uh, control power, and then there's the psychic guy uh, with uh, samurai sword. Yes, uh, that's actually my my favorite. Uh, I mean, like power so far. Uh, apparently, his sword is actually made out of plastic. It's just a toy sword, but after so many years of carrying and cursing that. Uh, plastic saw it became like the real deal and then uh, watching the animation how how he uses his saw is is really 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 damn beautiful man seriously you guys should watch it uh, and also there's this one guy who can uh, make a lot of illusion of himself <laughs> I mean like it's it's funny like 
uh, when they can bullshit with them. Okay, this is why I, I, I said uh, Regan, even though it seems like Regan is bullshitting with them, but it's not really bullshitting them. Okay, uh, when psychic versus psychic people, right, they try to they try to, to use their power and everything and those people with psychic ability can see them but n- not not uh, not for regular people like Regan right? because Regan doesn't have uh, any psychic ability right so from his eyes what he sees is like people doing some weird poses and shit so when the the seventh division leader uh, uses his gravitational power to try to, try to suppress a mob uh, onto the ground. He asks mob, mob, what are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Because he didn't see uh, the power physically. Right? Yes, he can see the ground cracks. Uh, but, but, but what he really sees is like mob is like trying to, to shit his man, something like that. Uh, but then again, according to him, like, dude, we can settle uh, settle this problem by talking talking this thing out, right? But and then th- the first thing that he did uh, was a drop kick on that uh, Ishiburo. I mean, that's that's fucking <laughs> unexpected. Well, we expect Regan to do things like that, but. <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's funny as shit. And also very, very awesome. Because he's just, like, a regular person. And he he gives a fucking drop kick onto a... Onto a... The scar leader, right? And then... Uh, he gave that... Oh, uh, he shows his... Uh, his other technique, which is using hypnosis. You know? Uh, using a 5 yen coin. And then, uh, telling people to watch... Uh, to watch... To, to watch at the at the coin like and then he walks in front of them and suddenly punch punch the guy while everyone everyone uh, anticipate uh, something that could uh, could happen and uh, and it's it's like yeah everybody was waiting for uh, for something to happen and then they, they they don't they didn't sense anything out of him because he's a fucking regular person. He's a normal, normal people. He doesn't have any psychic ability. <laughs> but what he does, then, it's like it's a surprise uh, for everyone. And then uh, it, he thought that uh, if he do that, okay, people will like okay, fine. Let's let's talk, talk Let's let's talk instead of fighting, right? But no, 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 no. These people, uh, uh, adult who never grow, who never grow up inside, and they still want uh, to pursue world domination, right? And then they, yeah, instead of uh, making sense out of the situation. They became angry, they became mad, and the fight starts. And then by the end of the episode, uh, when uh, everything is... They, they, were, they were put into into corner by, by the scars. And then uh, Hanazawa and also uh, Ritsu tells, tells Mop to use his power, his full power... To win th- this fight because there is no other way for them to get out from the situation okay but then again even so according to Regan, Regan said no 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 you shouldn't use your power against people no matter no matter how bad they are but you are the better person think of the consequences okay he he has a point but for me i think that's bullshit uh, mob can use his power without killing those those bad guys right that's the truth and then while he was telling mob not to use his power to fight Regan was slashed at the back by that uh, scar with uh, 
Go is all. Right. So, next and final episode Reagan and Mob. I expect more flashback from the final episode and the conclusion of this anime series, I guess. But hopefully, there'll be a second season like One Punch Man. There'll be a second season of One Punch Man 2. I cannot, I cannot wait for that. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think about the episode? Uh, if you guys like anything that I said in this video, I know it's very long, it's 50 minutes, and I, I don't really have anything that much to say. But then, yeah, if you guys like anything what I just said, uh, leave a comment down below, give me a like, and if you want more from me, uh, do subscribe uh, to this channel, Hasib Zone. Okay? Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Thank you.